Now, if you're familiar with exporting images for the web, you probably have a question about how do we get the quality settings. If we're just creating these PNGs, if I just minimize this and have them stacked up, you know that for web we normally, you know, Control Shift Alt S, and we get this, right? So you can choose JPEG quality, and you can come in here and you can choose, you know, whether you want a whole bunch of compression or you want no compression. Same thing goes with PNG. If you want an 8-bit PNG versus a 24-bit PNG. Well, with Generator, it is so simple to take care of the quality. All you have to do is pick one of these. Let's say I want to export out all the clouds, right? I'm going to call this is, remember, it's whatever the name of your layer is. So if you want to do clouds underscore, uh, you know, BTN, let's say you're going onto the web, dot PNG, you'll see on this side, it'll, boom, completely update right away. So we have a clouds button. I'm going to get rid of this BTN because we know clouds shouldn't be buttons anyways. Uh, so by default, it exports as a 32-bit PNG. So as you, right now, you're not going to see any, you'll see it uh, refresh, but there's really nothing going on. But if you want, you can also make this a 24-bit PNG. And it'll update, you know, as you can see, it updates and now it exports out in, uh, a 24-bit PNG. And how do you know it's 24-bit? We can open it up in many different ways, but you see now the transparency is gone. 32 will come with the transparency. And, of course, if you really want, you can also go down to 8-bit. And this one will get you your transparency back. But, you know, as you can see, a lot, there's a lot more banding in here. Same thing holds true though for JPEGs. If you want to change the quality settings in a JPEG, you can add a number to it. So the, so the numbers you can think of as percentages. So if you put a 9 here, it will give you a pretty high quality image, just like when we were exporting for web. If we go to back to JPEG, if we set our quality to 90, this is equal to what we just did by adding 9 here. So if we want to say, set a 20, you see the quality? Let's go back and let's set this to a 2. And we'll open it up and you'll see the quality difference. Wait for it. And boom. So now you can see the quality is absolutely despicable, but that's the kind of flexibility you get with this new generator feature. GIFs, on the other hand, they don't actually do more than one setting. So, which is okay because if you want to export out a GIF and you want more control, there might be better ways to do it. But as far as PNGs goes and JPEGs, this is absolutely groundbreaking because I know slicing and dicing for me has been a horrible experience over all these years. I've been doing this for almost 10 years now and there's nothing I hate more than getting designs or designing something and having to export out all these images and you know making changes to layers and uh, you know it just it becomes such a cumbersome task that oftentimes I don't want to do it so that's how you you export out different quality ratings for any image or any layers or layer groups in Photoshop with this new generator feature